uh, as for the bankers, uh, I would like them to think because there was once upon a time where you could do banking with honest money, with gold. But if you think that your future is to be the, the, uh, the government entity and sort of scheming people out of their life savings, I think that your days are numbered. Enough people in there to vote our way out of this mess. The mess is going to come down on our heads, and we better be prepared. Government is an unnecessary evil. It shouldn't even exist. It's a method of slavery. They want a certain amount of your money you make all the time. That's just a criminal mafia organization. That's normal. All fiat currencies, they're not backed by anything. They just keep printing until it becomes worthless. That's what every currency does. This is alternative money. Just like we now have alternative media, which is this interview right here. You're not CNN, you know what I mean? You're not Fox News. And it's the same thing. When there's nobody telling the crypto people to tailor the financial systems so the guy who owns the bank gets all the money at the end of the day. We have a form of money that is able to break that cycle where civilization grow and develop and then collapse. So it has, like, literally, I see uh, civilization changing possibility. So many of you probably want to start a new country, right? How many of you want to start a new country? It's a nation building. Uh, we're building the freest and the newest country on this planet and also a nation. The idea of freedom is so strong that we've got half a million people signing up for a citizenship in the last two and a half years since Liberland started. Pink Date is an escorting agency, it's a global one, and we connect clients and escorts in a safe, secure, and efficient manner, and it lets people book and screen and pay everything online in crypto. But I first heard about the concept of anonymous digital cash on the internet via like science fiction books when I was a kid, or... People thought Bitcoin was just this, this nerd money that you buy the tape to fix your glasses with. But now, when you see them, they're proud. They're proud people who began that social circle and built that culture from nothing. Yeah, I was, I was the first person in the entire world to start investing in Bitcoin startups. And we realized that we're fulfilling a vision that was definitely meant to be for the human race.